Well, welcome back. We all head into the new year with the best of intentions, right? To eat healthy, drink less, maybe work out more. And the secret to success is making it as easy as possible to stick to your goals. When it comes to your fitness, maybe the first step is picking out the right gym. Okay, I like the sound of this. Mel is out at Endeavor Active Community in the Fifth Ward. Mel, what have you got out there? I saw some furry friends. Oh my goodness, have I got furry friends for you guys or what? I mean, this is my kind of gym, pet friendly gym. Meet Betty White. This is Betty White. She's a great fitness motivator here. And oh, there's also Mike Lopez. <laughs> Mike is co-owner of Endeavor Active Community. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Wow, 2024. Oh We're yeah, here. excited. Get ready to rock and roll. Oh my gosh, so you must have a lot of people that join the gym, get really motivated. I mean, it's a common thing. You get super motivated this time oh, yeah. of year. And then sticking to it can be a little tricky. It can, it can. And that's where a community kind of helps out, kind of like Endeavor. We bring a community to bring other avenues so people can kind of find ways to keep them active. And so we bring different events to help people out. And that's kind of what we do to kind of keep people coming back and forth and enjoying every time they come in so they stay motivated. Oh my gosh, which is so, so awesome. And I want to talk specifically on what we can do to find a gym that suits us, but you guys have some really fun, unique things here for your gym members. I mean, it's pet friendly. Most Which definitely. is super cool. Yes, we are. We're very pet friendly. And we said we, we offer kind of different things that kind of allow, allow people to kind of come in and stay motivated from different uh, events from like concerts and, uh, well, you know, comedy shows. So we're always looking for different avenues to kind of keep people coming in just other than just working out. Wow, which is really, really cool. And if you come with your dog, there's even a dog park here, which has become a bit of a neighborhood dog park, but it's really handy if you want to come and work out with your oh, yeah. pups and you can head to, you know, Milo's retreat. It's like quite <laughs> cute, isn't it? Yes, little it little is. dog park. So, and, and of course, if you, you can have your pets work out with you here. Yeah, and they'll, they'll kind, of, kind of just chill out and relax. And as long as, you know, they're friendly with all the other people that come in, they're more than welcome to kind of come in and just sit down and chill out and, you know, get a good workout in with the, their parents, <laughs> their yeah, pet parents. With their parents, with their parents. <laughs> okay, so give it to us. Mike. Now, if we're looking for a gym, you know, there's so many different ones in the neighborhood and you don't always say, just come to us. No, we don't. So we always tell people they got to figure out what they're looking for. And usually we give them like three different tips on what they're looking for to kind of decide what gym. So the primary thing is you need to kind of figure out what it is that you're looking for. Um, do you need help? Or do you have your own program that you're going to follow? Or do you need something, somebody more customizable that they're going to kind of follow you and help you every step of the way? So that's primarily the first issue. The second one is figuring out the type of gym that you're looking for when you're shopping. What do they offer? Do they offer programs for you to kind of follow along? Or is it just equipment that you can kind of utilize when you're working out? Or is it, you know, like a highly motivated uh, program design with highly motivated trainers to kind of keep you motivated and keep you coming back? So those are the kind of things that we're looking for. And then the last one, you really got to kind of look at the customer service and then the community that you're looking for. Does it bring you into the gym? Does it keep you coming back? Um, is the front desk, the maintenance, everybody that's part of that, that facility, are they welcoming and inviting you and, and helping you along the way? And if they don't know the answers, guiding you to the right people to help you get, to the, you know, get the answers you need. That's indicative of the, the kind of program that you should be looking for and making sure that you're you know, getting into you know fitness and being welcomed and helping you stay motivated to keep you there because you need that motivation to keep you there and everybody in that business is going to help you and keep you there oh my gosh it's so good okay so you just find that right community for you shop around a bit shop a lot around. of gyms have deals as well i find this time of year yes a lot of gyms have deals so you're always looking for a place and when they come in they may have like like what we do we give them the, uh, a month free or not a month free we give them about a couple weeks free to let them try out the facility and then we you know offer different rates and stuff like that to kind of keep them coming in some offer like a two-day pass, three-day pass, or a week pass. But you need to you take advantage of those to try out the different types of facility, facilities and see what you actually like. There's so many great facilities in Houston to kind of choose from. And if you got to find that right fit for you because that's what the most important thing is going to keep you coming in. And that's what you want because we want to stay motivated for 2024. Okay, we're going to stick around because Brian is standing by somewhere and he is going to go through some ways that you can have a very unique workout. A workout. And you oh, yeah. guys do some pretty unique things here. Very so we're going to look in depth into that and see how once you've found that gym that you want, Tessa, Derek, how to stick to it and um, stick with it for 2024. Which is very important. By the way, uh, I want Betty White's job. She has the best seat in the house. <laughs> she looks so cozy. She looks very ready for the new year. All right, Mel, thanks. We'll see you in just She's a, a rescue, guys. She's a rescue. She just walked on into the gym and never left. True story. <laughs> she <laughs> is adorable. Saving our lives right now. We love her. All right, Betty White and Mel Camp.
Happy New Year and welcome back to Houston Life. Okay, if you want to put fitness into your new year, well, we're not calling them resolutions, are we? But if you want to put fitness into 2024, then we have some fitness tips for you today. I have been hanging out at Endeavor Active Community and it has been so much fun. Thank you so much for having us here today. Yeah, thank you for coming. We definitely appreciate you guys spending some time with us on this new year day. Well, you know what? We were just chatting with Mike and he gave us some great tips, but Brian Kuano, you, of course, are the other half <laughs> of, of Endeavor. And, um, you know, it's it's really is something that is hard for people. You know, you go in with best intentions and you want to, like, get fit and you want to see results straight away, but it's not always that easy. But you guys see it. I mean, this is your business. This is what you live and breathe. And so you really do have good tips on how people can, you know, make a plan and, and hopefully stick with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like Mike said earlier, it's really about finding the right place for you. So um, the nice thing about the fitness industry these days is there's so many options out there. I mean, everything you can think of from Ninja Warrior stuff to, I mean, all your little Pilates and yoga and, and creative stuff, like uh, all kinds of different things out there. So there's always something that's going to fit I think I saw you. a Cirque du Soleil workout, like end of last year, somewhere in Houston or something like that. Oh, I'm I mean, sure there's, there's something like that's out there for sure. <clears throat> um, but again, it's just, it's finding what, what works for you. And what we really, what we really preach here is Workouts don't have to be within four walls. It doesn't have to be set with weights or whatever. For us, we do a lot of different events and include outdoor stuff as well, too, from bike rides to excursion trips to Galveston and up to Austin. And just finding a lot of different things that keep you active and surround you with like-minded people who are motivated to work out but don't have that necessarily that, that want or, or desire to be in a gym lifting weights the whole time. So for us, it's just it's finding different ways to keep you, keep you involved and keep you interested and keep you excited about coming back for more. And being creative with your workout. And one thing that I loved that you did at end of last year was bunny yoga. <laughs> is that something you're bringing back for 2024? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we work with Happy Bunny Project, which is a, a, a nonprofit uh, that's working to build a rescue for all these bunnies that have been discarded and... and, and let loose. Uh, so we do it pretty much once a month out of here. And it's a lot of fun. It's, just, it's yoga set to some real cool creative music. And of course, there's a bunch of bunnies hopping around for you to play with. So it's a lot of fun. I mean, if that's not going to help you stick to your workout mm -hmm. in 2024, I don't know what is. But you know, there really is very different things for all sorts of people. Like if you get bored easily, there's, there's options if you like to have something regimented. And the interesting thing that you guys do here at Endeavor Active Community is you have classes but also people can kind of free, free form within those classes. Yeah, what we do here is very different. So we have five different programs that we offer, and the way it works is there's always one of us here to guide you through that program, but you're moving at your own pace, and, and we we're do, here I mean, to we make any kind of modifications if you have any kind of injuries or if you're new to working out and not sure what you're doing or anything like that. We're here to guide you through these things so you're not by yourself on your own trying to figure things out. Um, and again, we do, outside of that, we also do all the outside stuff as well too, so we try to find ways for you to, to stay active no matter what you're into. That is so awesome. What words of wisdom do you have for us if we're thinking of making 2024 a year that we do want to get into fitness or maybe back to fitness if we've fallen out of it? Definitely. Uh, two things. One, find the right fit for you. Shop around. Look for the, what's going to be what's going to keep your interest. And two, find yourself a community, whether it's your best friend or someone from work or someone to keep you accountable or join somewhere like us where we have kind of our built-in community here where you have people there to support you and motivate you and make you feel guilty if you miss the workout. <laughs> Accountability. Accountability is where it's at. And you know what? I love it. You guys, of course, will give people a chance to come and try this out. I mean, a lot of gyms do that. You know, you can look for free classes and you can look to, to test it out, but you guys are offering that as well. Oh yeah, for sure. We, uh, we always offer a free three-day workout, uh, uh, three workout pass. So on our website, you can sign right up right there. It's real simple. Come in, check us out, get a feel for what we do. Because like I said, it is very unique and it is kind of hard to explain until you get your hands in here and get your feet yeah, wet a little bit. I've so. got to say, and I'm someone who gets a little threatened by gyms, but mm -hmm. being here, I see that this place, I mean, you have the doggers running mm -hmm. around, but also you are just so helpful. And, and this wall of equipment, I'm like, I don't know how to use it, but that's what you guys are here for. And so yes. you make it very easy and that's important. So um, um, hopefully this has helped you with your fitness ideas. Let's turn them into goals for 2024 um, and happy new year. Good luck with it all. Thank you so much. Thank you. And guess what? Houston Life will be right back.